President Trump is due to decide on Tuesday whether to keep the US in the Iran nuclear deal. He's been highly critical of the accord, while his European allies have been campaigning to keep at least the basis of the agreement alive. It's hard to see how this time he won't withdraw from the deal, given everything he said, given all the attempts that appear to have failed to convince him otherwise. That said, President Trump's middle name is unpredictable, so uh, who knows what he'll do. But he, in some ways, the die is cast. Whether he withdraws now or maintains uncertainty, the benefits that Iran wanted to get from the deal are basically evaporating. So it's going to be very hard to keep the deal alive unless Europe does something quite significant, even if President Trump decides on this week, oh, I'm going to give another three months uh, reprieve. Iran has said it will stick to the deal even if the U.S. pulls out, as long as European countries can guarantee it will keep on benefiting. The U.K., Germany and France in particular are fighting to save the accord. So even if President Trump decides this week, I'm going to give Europe another three months to come back with a better deal. We know they're not going to come back with a better deal because you can't unilaterally get a better deal. So it's just going to add three more months of uncertainty. The question now is whether the, the U.S. part of the deal dies in one full swoop this week or whether it's death by a thousand cuts. In either case, the responsibility will lie with Europe to convince the Iranians that they have enough to offer Iran. Whether President Trump withdraws this week or whether he decides to postpone that yet again, they need to convince Iran there's enough in this deal for you. We're going to try to give you as many of the economic benefits that you expect, but we're also going to be tougher with you on other aspects of your policy. I think that's a fair conversation to have with Iran. Iran has good reason to keep the deal alive given the economic hardship it suffered under sanctions.